Well, have you ever received a phone call or email from an unknown source that was asking you for personal information? Scams like these are continuing to impact consumers all over the country. Our Sarah Winkleman shows us how to stay safe from current scams going on around the area. For 20 years now, the Federal Trade Commission has declared the first week of March as National Consumer Protection Week to remind consumers to think smart before it's too late. By the time they come to me, sometimes there's not a lot that can be done. Whether it comes through the mail, a phone call, or online, always do some research before responding. There's a ton of laws on the books um, that talk about consumer protection and you know, there's even crimes and all kinds of stuff. But the reality is these guys are really hard to catch. And if your money, if you spent your money, you're probably not going to get it back. Scams of all sorts, shapes and sizes are circulating, including targeting the 2,400 people in Crow Wing County using or applying for energy assistance. Well, they would send one out saying, hey, um, you've qualified for energy assistance. You just need to give us your bank account information and we will put this money in to your account. Also popular right now are student loan repayment scams. Or pay us and we will help get, pay off your student loans or we'll get rid of them for you or get rid, completely erase your debt, which is not possible. If you're ever contacted and asked to give out personal information and something doesn't seem just quite right, reassurance is just a phone call away. <phone rings> Lutheran Social Service, how may I help you? So just as one last reminder. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. Resources such as the Better Business Bureau, the Federal Trade Commission, and Lutheran Social Service can help you identify or report fraud. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.